Hi everyone, my name is Kyle, and today I'm going to be reviewing Love, Simon, which is directed by Greg Berlanti. The film tells the story of a 16-year-old high schooler named Simon Spear, played by Nick Robinson. He comes from an upper-middle-class family, he's got great friends, he's going to a very typical teenage high school, except he is hiding one big secret. He is gay. However, he does not embrace this. He wants to hide it. He doesn't want to tell anyone about it. And once he discovers that there's another kid who has come out as gay, he tries to form an online relationship with him. And of course, when it comes to the online world, there's always this fear that someone's gonna find out and try to leak the secret. And he's willing to do any and everything in order to keep that secret safe. Guys, I got to go to my first ever advanced screening for this film. I saw it on Saturday. I apologize for the lateness of this review. It just took me a while to get here. But uh, yeah, I got to see this movie early, which was really cool. The film comes out Friday. And I do hope you see it because I thought Love, Simon was a very good film and it consistently entertained me. I thought Nick Robinson's performance in the film was fantastic. I like the fact that he was just a regular, normal guy. A very likable person, a very sympathetic person. We can understand where he's coming from. We know he was raised very well with a really good family. He has good friends. There's a lot of camaraderie that goes along with it. He's a regular guy with all of these, you know, specific emotions bottling up inside him and he's wondering when to release them or when to come out of the closet. As a matter of fact, I thought the entire ensemble was great. We have Katherine Langford, who of course played Hannah Baker in 13 Reasons Why. I thought she did a really good job in this film and her chemistry with Nick Robinson was really good. There are two of the characters played by Jorge Lendenberg Jr. and Alexander Shipp who are friends with Simon and I felt that both of their characters were really good, especially Alexander Shipp's character who I, I thought was actually rather cute, but at the same time she was definitely a character with conflicts of her own. And guys, I just gotta say, this movie has one of the funniest vice principals I have ever seen in a film. I'm telling you guys, every single scene with him completely hit with me. I laughed every time he was on screen. In terms of the direction, I felt Greg Berlanti did a fantastic job. And I actually found out very recently that he is actually gay. So you could tell that he really was trying to put his heart and soul into this movie. And it really shows. It's directed extremely well, and it also looks really good too. The cinematography is really nice. They shot it in Atlanta, Georgia. Of course, that's where they shot Baby Driver, and you guys know I love that film. Now, when you really boil it down, Love, Simon is a film about identity. And of course, the basic concept of a coming of age story in which a character is trying to reveal said identity has been done multiple times. The best picture winner of last year, Moonlight, was a prime example of this. However, Love, Simon takes those themes and those messages and puts them into a fully contemporary world. And this is a perfect segue to lead into my next point, which is to talk about the dialogue in this film, which I am supremely confident is going to divide a lot of people, particularly audiences that are older or critics that are older. Now, before I continue with my thoughts, I just want to say that I'm not trying to illustrate that I'm smarter than people who are 30 or 40 years older than me. My point here is there's going to be a lot of people who will look at this film and say the dialogue and the conversations with the characters, the teenage characters, feel very unrealistic and forced. As someone who just graduated high school last year, I can positively say that just about every conversation in this movie did not feel unrealistic at all. In fact, there were multiple times where I was like, wow, I, I, I've actually had those kind of conversations with my friends. I, honest, honest to God, guys, I really felt like the dialogue in this film was very relatable. In addition to this comes the whole world of social media in which people of my generation have grown up with and we're gonna to continue to use for years to come. And the social media aspect in this film was, again, like the dialogue, very relatable. Like someone maybe sending a text saying, did you see the latest post or you gotta go check this out on Instagram or Twitter. That really is the way that teenagers talk and communicate these days. Where I do think the movie gets a little forced and a bit unrealistic is really the family scenes. I'm not saying those scenes are bad, but they are undoubtedly my least favorite parts of the movie. I like Josh Duhamel and I like Jennifer Garner and they did a good job portraying his parents, but in my mind, the movie definitely got cheesy in those sequences. And really the same can be said about the third act in this movie. There are parts of it that does get a little bit cheesy, a little bit sappy, but it's definitely in the typical high school teenage mindset. And I don't really have a problem with that because for this movie, it worked for me. 
for the most part. There are just the family scenes, I was like, that's a little too much. Overall, guys, despite some little flaws, I had a really good time watching Love, Simon. I thought it was a very good film with great acting, fantastic direction, really cool visuals, and a really nice soundtrack to go along with it. This movie will definitely make a huge impact for anyone who was involved in the LGBT community. But at the same time, people who aren't gay, who aren't lesbians, or who aren't transgenders can definitely really enjoy this movie and understand the message just as clearly. And as someone who didn't even read the book, I can definitely tell that they really put a lot of care and effort into this movie because it definitely showed. Guys, I thought Love, Simon was a very good film and I'm going to give it an A-. Guys, I definitely hope you go and see this movie this weekend because it is definitely worth it. And if you did go to an advanced screening and see it, what did you think? I'd like to hear your comments, so send them down in the comment section below. Guys, thank you so much as always for watching, and stay tuned.